Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, I am not done with the software, not by a long shot, but the main functionality is complete on my RFID 123 module. Here's the RFID antenna, reader, processor, two optional relays you can enable and disable using two jumpers. Um, a uh, Two locking jumpers that I haven't implemented yet, program jumper and mode select jumper. And of course we have six six outputs and uh, LED indicators for each of those six outputs that can be enabled or disabled via a, an LED enabled jumper and we've got a, a blue uh, indicator LED. The final unit won't have a blue indicator LED, it'll be a, a green three millimeter LED but I like blue LEDs, they're cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a two pin jumper and I'm going to short the PG pins I'm going to take seven RFID cards. They are 125 kilohertz RFID cards, and we're going to program it. So what I've got here is seven random, uh, some of them are different kinds of uh, 125 kilohertz RFID cards. I'm just going to plow through the programming process, and I'll have one extra to show an example of uh, an invalid card. So I'm in program mode as soon as I power this up. Card one, card two, card three, card four, card five, and card six. So card seven is on the top. Put those aside, unplug, and I'll remove the programming jumper. Plug it back in. Those cards are programmed into EEPROM memory. Card seven. Card seven. That's just the indicator LED telling me, nope, no dice, sir, bad card. So back to card one, card two, card two will toggle it off, card two again, card three, card four, card five, and card six. Now I'll be implementing the buzzer, I'll be implementing the uh, cell button. Uh, to have uh, to have a manual reset in latching mode. Anyway, what I'll do right now is I'll remove power. I just haven't finished the program yet. I haven't fine-tuned it, but but as for saving in DEPROM memory, uh, using the cards, reading the cards, that's no problem. So I'm going to take a two-pin jumper, connect it to the set for setting two-pin header, power it up again. Card seven. Uh, which is again an, in uh, an invalid card. Card one, it's momentary. The outputs are momentary in this mode, so it only stays high for about half a second. Card two, card three, card three again, card four, card five, card six, and again, invalid card seven because we haven't programmed that or rather allocated that program to a specific output. Now the output block has a regulated 5 volts ground line and uh, outputs 1 through 6 that correspond to the relative LED. Now I can disable the LEDs again by removing this LED enable jumper. If I want to what I can do is I can unplug. You don't need to do this in latching mode but you can. Uh, I'm going to remove the setting jumper, connect it to relay 1 so I've enabled Relay 1 and I've enabled Relay 2 and Relay 1 and Relay 2 correspond to output 5 and output 6 so I'll plug it back in and this is a card 7, invalid card, so card 1 card 2, card 3, card 4 and I'll do card 5 card 5 again to turn the relay off and card 6 and card 6 again to turn the relay off. Now the relay can be used for uh, to uh, activate an electromagnet, a solenoid, um, it can power a lamp, it can power other AC devices. The traces are extremely thick uh, under the board so the relays can handle high power. It's extremely simple. Uh, to program it takes less than a minute. To use it takes another minute. That's it. I mean, it's very, very simple. Uh, I have a bunch of other functions to implement. I just wanted to share it. This will be my next Kickstarter campaign, likely. 
uh, but I have a lot of programming to do to really make it a really useful device. <laughs> I have to make it a Kickstarter, unfortunately, because these readers are really expensive. Uh, processor is expensive too. Obviously, the board and the components. It's it's it, to mass produce it. It would it would cost quite a bit, and that's why this will be likely be my next Kickstarter campaign. But the hardware is complete. It's production ready. Software still has some work, but I really just wanted to share because I'm really happy with the way it turned out physically. Uh, and when I'm done with software, it's going to be an amazing device. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day, guys. Check us out at engineeringshock.com, electroniclessons.com, and paintballprops.com. Take care.